Here now with the latest Fox News contributors, Charlie Hurt and Miranda Devine. Charlie and Miranda, thanks for being with us tonight. Miranda, let me start with you. Comer wants to see a document the FBI has that isn't classified, but they're saying he can't see it, even though he has a legal right to. Uh, will he see it? Can the FBI stonewall? How do these things normally play out? You follow these things closely. Well, of course, they're just going to continue to stonewall. They've already defied a subpoena. It's been two weeks since it was issued. Uh, Christopher Ray is uh, just showing himself to be a cover-up merchant. That's what he did from the minute he took over from James Comey, another cover-up merchant. And um, this is the problem. There is no accountability. The, the FBI and the FBI director, Christopher Ray know that the Attorney General, uh, Merrick Garland, is backing them. Uh, they know that there are no consequences for them. And so, of course, they can afford to stonewall. And Merrick Garland, who's quite happy to jail uh, former Trump officials who defied subpoenas from the January 6th committee, treats Republican subpoenas like a joke. Um, this is <laughs> the DOJ corrupt and it's in your face. Charlie, we know the, the administration counts on the warm blanket of the legacy media, of the left-wing media, not to cover the obvious blatant corruption right in front of them. But how much, how worried do you think, if you're in the DOJ, if you're in the White House, if you're a part of the Biden family, and this is out there, it's, something's going to pop to the surface eventually, does this change any of their calculation as to how they play this? You would think that it would. But honestly, the, the media has been so uh, uncurious about any of this uh, that, that they probably are, uh, you know, feel pretty comfortable that they can get away with it. If it weren't for people like Miranda and a select few other people in the press who've been bird-dogging this story from the very beginning, we wouldn't know anything. You know, if we haven't learned anything else over the last sure. couple of years, we've learned that that the FBI is thoroughly corrupt to the core. It is it is uh, entire at least the part of it that's operating out of Washington. Uh, it is entirely engaged in politics. It views its purpose to, uh, to 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 put their thumb on the scale of elections. And uh, and then, of course, we also see they're also interested uh, probably first and foremost in protecting themselves, which is why you can get somebody like Christopher Ray. You could just plop anybody into that spot, it seems like, and their first instinct is to figure out how to protect the FBI. And we saw the same thing, of course, with the Mueller report. We now realize the degree to which the Mueller, t the Mueller team didn't even ask the, all of the people who were involved uh, in the investigation they were doing because they wanted to protect them. And, uh, and, and you know, it's as disgusting as all of it is, you, you would think that with a vibrant free press that we, you know, you could, you, you would have a lot of people eager to fill in the blanks here, but that's just <clears throat> not happening because the press is as in bed with the FBI and the federal government as they all are. Miranda, I, hypotheticals can be overdone, but sometimes they're useful. I think the media has held out with one excuse, that this is just a Hunter thing. This is a family thing. It's not a Joe thing. Let's say whether it's this $5 million or some direct, verifiable, undeniable connection is made between the business dealings of Hunter Biden and the political connections and the beneficiary, meaning Joe Biden, we've got the receipts right here. The money went to him. A deal was made. Comer saying maybe a bribery scheme. Let's say a smoking gun really does develop, Miranda. Would, I hate to ask the question, but even then would they acknowledge it or are they that much, is it that much of a hatchet job? Look, I think you are seeing in the risks that the DOJ and the FBI are taking to cover up whatever evidence it is that they have regarding these allegations against Joe Biden, regarding the Hunter Biden investigation. Uh, you can see that whatever it is they're covering up is pretty damaging. It must be explosive. And I think the good news is that we have all these uh, whistleblowers coming forward, uh, men of integrity who have you know, sacrifice their careers, um, their livelihood, their reputations, their families' happiness, really, 
um, and uh, for, for, for an ideal, because they're patriots, because they see, as you saw the IRS whistleblower the other day, went on CBS mm. mm -hmm. and explained that he couldn't live with his conscience unless he spoke up. So that's a good thing. This is a fight, really, between good and evil. These good men and the evil of that corrupt culture in the FBI and that's also infiltrated the DOJ and I guess has been there for a long time. Yeah, uh, Charlie, Miranda mentions the IRS whistleblower, who, if you watch the interview, I'm sure you've seen at least parts of it, uh, is reluctant. Uh, it seems like a guy who wanted to do his job and was told, do it this way, which was not the way they've done it in the past. And it's clear because it's the president's son, it's a different situation, always benefiting him. Uh, do, do you think, again, that the firing of IRS workers, that team that was looking at Hunter Biden, I mean, can you just shuffle to a new team to cover it up? Or at some point, uh, can sunlight be shown on it? Well, I mean, they have, they've, they've demonstrated that they have an endless supply of cover-up teams in the FBI or in the federal government yeah. at the IRS because every single one of these cases that we, that we sort of know about through the veil uh, because, the, you know, they tend to operate in secrecy for these investigations, which is understandable, but, but every single one of them, when you, you know, you get on down the road, that's why I mentioned the, the Mueller uh, investigation, because you get on down the road and you yeah. find out that they don't even interview the top principals who made the decisions. And the same, and, and it appears that's the exact same thing that's going on here with the, the uh, IRS investigation into, to, uh, into Hunter Biden. And, um, and, and, you know, the other thing is, uh, you know, another level of corruption that's going on here is at, at the level of elected officials. You know, you can, you, you, maybe you don't like Chuck Grassley for his political opinions, but nobody would ever say that Chuck Grassley has ever, no, I, I, you couldn't find a reporter who could tell you that Chuck yeah. Grassley has ever lied to them about something. Whereas we've just been through five years of all of us, Democrat voters, everybody being lied to by all these Democrats and elected officials who are supposed to be the last line of defense to protecting citizens from a runaway federal government. They're, they're lying on behalf of them and doing what they can to protect this government against the citizens. And that's really messed up. Yeah. And I, you know, I don't know what the answer is. We, I don't know how we get to a better place, but this is nuts. It's nuts. There, there are lies, there are damn lies, and then there's the Biden DOJ right now and what they're willing to do across the spectrum to cover up for the big guy. Charlie Hurt, Miranda Devine, thank you both for joining us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.